Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Wednesday, August uh, 2016, around 3.30 in the afternoon in Bellica, Massachusetts. A very nice and sunny day out, low humidity, the pick of the week. And the sun will be going down before 8, 8 o'clock tonight, so that means the stays are getting shorter and we're, we're, we're noticing it. But still, this is the dog days of August. Look for many hot days to come. Um, summer's not over by a long shot. Some news to report last night. Tri-City Valley Cats beat the low Spanish by the score of 3-2. to two. It's official. Tom Jackson is officially retiring from NFL programming for ESPN. His last day will be Saturday at the Pro Football Hall of Fame ceremony. And NBC has announced it's renewing a reality series, America's Got Talent, for a 12th season. And its host, Nick Cannon, and the judges, Simon Cow. Well, and Mel B and Howie Mandel and Heidi Clooms will be back judging for another season. So, hip hip away. Heidi Clooms has nice legs and they're insured for $2 million. And that's about it on the news. My second video blog subject of the day is about the Bruce Freeman Rail Trail that starts in Lowell, Massachusetts, that goes to Westford, Massachusetts, but it's under construction to continue from Westford to Sudbury, and the third um, phase will eventually take it from Sudbury to Framingham. Um, the, the Bruce Freeman Rail Trail was part of an abandoned railroad line that went from South Sudbury, Massachusetts to Lowell, Massachusetts, which was abandoned in the 1950s. Bruce Freeman Trail was named after Bruce Freeman, who was a Chelmsford resident and a longtime state senator of of Mass oh no, state representative from of Chelmsford, Massachusetts, and he really loved um rail trails because he went bike riding on one in Cape Cod bike trail with one of his sons and one of his grandsons and in 1985 he pushed legislation to do a feasibility study of the old um, Penn Central railroad tracks that went from Lowell to South Sudbury to convert it over to uh, a to ride bikes and roller blade and roller skate or skateboard or walk or run or ride horses. You can't drive vehicles on bike trails unless if it's emergency personnel like, like police officers or firefighters or snowplows. Bruce Freeman passed away in 1987, but his but his success successes continued to push for it and push for it. Finally, in the mid-1990s, they did feasibility studies on the rail trail. Eventually, the first um, phase of it st uh, was approved and construction began in the mid-2000s. It started at Industry Avenue in Lowell, Massachusetts. Originally, the plan was it was going to start at a corner of Plain Street and Avenue A right off the low connector exit 4 but there was no funding for that so it started at Industry Ave right by the Cross Point Towers and the Showcase Cinema in low and the Auto Place and exit 3 off of the low connector and it started at Cross Point and uh -huh. it what goes under Route 3, and it runs parallel to Route 
110 Chelmsford Road for about a couple of miles. Goes by the stop and shop. Goes near the residential neighborhood. Then goes under 495. Then it goes by ball fields and the Dunkin' Donuts. Goes over Route 110 and goes through Chelmsford Center. Some villages and I'm stops and then cuts through Route 4 and Route 110 in Chelmsford Center continues on. On the left hand side is the Brick House um, Sports Grill. It's a great place to eat. Very, very great pizza and a good bartender named Christina and Chrissy and Maria. If you're ever in Chelmsford Center, go to that place. It's awesome. We'll continue on to on uh, Bike Prep Trail, it runs parallel to um, Littleton, Av Littleton Road, Route 110 for a half mile. Then it curves off, goes by some fields, and then runs parallel with Acton Road, which is Route 27. Goes by the Bryn School in Chelmsford, and then goes near the Hot Pond. You could swim in Hot Pond. Pond, and then it goes into Westford, and it ends near Route 27 and 225 in Westford, and it's near the Carlisle Line. Phase 2 is under construction, and the Phase 2 is going to be complete sometime in 2018 or 2019. It's going to extend it from Carlisle from Westford over to Carlisle and then into Con Acton and Concord and also there's going to be another phase there will be like like 2A, 2B, 2C and 2D I think 2D is going to have a bridge that goes over Route 2 and the third phase is from like South um, Sudbury to Framingham with the tracks that are abandoned but it's still owned by C S X, so it's going to take a maybe a long time for Phase Three to ever get completed. But rail trails are real, real popular because it's alternative bike riding for people who like to ride a bike. If they especially work in low, low, and they're from like Chelmsford or Westford or. Um, other places during the summer months and spring months, they could use the bike um, trail as an alternate, like through Route 495 or Route 2 or Route 27 or Route 4 or 110. That saves the environment by doing that, by using your bikes and bike, um, bike riding is getting to be more and more popular in the United States. And I've walked this bike trail a couple of times, in like in the Chelmsford area. And that's about it on the Bruce Freeman bike trail. I'll be back. But I'll be back for the third and final video blog on night, which will be my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is Fien um, Arizona Coyotes captain Shane. Don't keep calm, everybody. And I'm Julie Benkai. Molly Oseblood of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth has so so sunny. She's the best. Amy Sweezy rocks and has nice legs. Um, Julie Gower of Fox 25 is awesome. Julie Donaldson of Comcast Sports Mid-Atlantic is my TV sports class. Michelle Bido of ESPN Sports Nation is the best. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has that sweet southern accent. Linda Church is such a cool guy. She's got nice legs. And in the words of Sean Lucci, get out. See you later.